hyperkinetic disorders. What are hyperkinetic disorders? It's a big, big word. Too much movement. Hyper, you know, when you say somebody's hyper, right? There and and kinetic is move, movement, and so it's a basal gangliotic problem, brainstem basal ganglia, and and often brain uh, is involved, but it's uh, the brake pedal isn't working. We can turn it on, but we can't turn it off. And there's so many different conditions that are related to this that with some of them we might not even th think about. We, we tend to think about it in terms of ADHD. On the other end of the spectrum, we've already discussed dystonia, too much movement. The, the, the basal ganglia is escaping. It's not turning off stuff that should not happen. And so we've also got problems like OCD, ODD. Uh, we're, we're dealing with the compulsivities, all the compulsivities. We're dealing with any kind of any kind of an issue where we've got too much movement, and so hyperkinetic disorders are kind of like the the regularly seen problem because of lack of development. In the past, it can it can also have a radical impact on health because it can turn things up, including the autonomic nervous system, meaning your your sympathetic nervous system, the fight or flight system is operating ramped up all the time and so it's beating up your heart you're not getting the blood flow you need to you know in your body where where you should and in the way you should you're not getting sleep the way you should there's no recovery so in hyperkinetic disorders the solution to the problem we've discussed before we have we have a threefold approach we're going to attack it from the top of the brain. We're going to figure out which side the problem is on. And we're going to affect that basal ganglia by t turning up the circuitry in the, in the cortex above it so that it's ramping up its idle, so that it's living at a higher level. Then we're going to move the body on the, from the opposite point of view. We're going to do, use two pathways, the mesolimbic and mesocortical pathways, Mesolimbic, remember I said limbic is emotional. So the emotional movement system we're going to be using, and we're going to also be using the non-emotional, the, the mesocortical system. So we've got specific kinds of movement patterns that we're going to do in, in our, you know, the, the step number two. Step number three is we're going to operate from the front, the cortex. We're going to operate from the, the, the very advanced circuitry in order to get those hyperdirect pathways to shut it down. We're going to build our cerebellum so that it's constantly telling it to shut up, right? And so that's our strategy for hyperkinetic disorders uh, the, and, and what it is. If you have any other questions uh, relating to it, happy to do another video for you or two or three. And that, we'll just keep making them. So uh, remember, we're here when you're ready to take your life back.